Hey YouTube, cool Minecraft Raider back, and I'm on my usual flat world tutorial, and this, these fireworks are gonna run out, and I'm never gonna have fireworks again. Second. <laughs> Let's go check out the sponsor. Whether or not I'm multiplying this, you know, the school, player mouse. Like the color of the school up and down. I'd be able to hear that, I'm not sure. That part, you know. That's. Parts we use it. Yeah, that's how you multiply stuff. That's how you get a stack of fireworks. I know, it's crazy. Like, you must have thought, like, why would they add fireworks to the game and get the craft and creating and get one? But let's move on to the real thing. So, yeah, guys. We're gonna make a mob spawner today. I'm on a flat world, so. I had the. Oh, I have to give myself a little good epic skill. 50, I believe. No. Yeah, it's 52. So, it's a pig spawner. <laughs> I can't give myself like a skeleton spawner. This is made um, a famous YouTuber. Not really. 25 subscribers. 25,000 subscribers. Oh, I was wondering how, I don't know, maybe you figured it out, maybe not, so I just decided to make this video. I'm sure many other people would like this. So, the stop monsters, anything when spawning, the spawners do that. Simple. Mine one, two below. I, you should do two. I just have one on this, just for the demonstration. Actually, let's do two. So the first step is mine. The pigs will still spawn. Sorry about that, guys. I truly am. I don't know. I don't have MC at it. It's fine. You'll still learn. It's okay. But make sure you put those torches on real fast. Okay, so it'll be like this. So you can go under it with ease. So, what you're basically going to need is a pickaxe, approximately, maybe some building blocks, whatever you want cobblestone, dirt, anything that does not emit light, or a seat, which they don't hit glass, because you're probably gonna, you don't want to put, like, torches behind the glass, because then light's gonna travel through. So, what you're gonna do first, you're gonna place, you're gonna need an infinite one resource, which can be attained by doing this, so, mine up 4 by 4 so, mine up 4 by 4 area like this, this water in that corner, this water in that corner. So if I went and got a bunch of buckets, I'll do this in survival. So for you guys. Be less confusing, so as you can see, it stays infinite. So I'll get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do you only need one bucket, it's really low cost to make this type of mock spawner like that and you do every other one so now as you can see I place the block here and there now that's infinite so and I place a block here now that's infinite and a block there so basically any block I choose I can get water and I'll be infinite I can also empty it but if I got my corner block that's not infinite, so get any block besides like the edge. So make it so the martyr goes like nine blocks. So remove the torches like, and get the heck out of there. A uh, good strategy to remove torches is to go behind first and set some the hardest one to get to. And then place this like that. Basically make it so they can't get through like that one block. And then I'm gonna go okay, no. so they switch to mine this out and the monsters will be spawning. So for the purpose of this, I'll be spawning in some skeletons. Just the and I'll move just the way that to the so I tried to make this one clip guys, I'll be doing a little clip showcase one that I want at the end, just for if the new guys watching my videos. And then I can hit them. So if I want to give myself a sword, 
diamond. And use the glass. Don't use the diamond. That's not the best to use. You don't want to use your diamond sword on this XP. Use an iron sword. There's ways to make it. I'm not going to do a complex version, but you would have them so they could flow down here. And they would fall super far, but I can't because I'm on a flat world, obviously. Um, get that speed. Yep. That's about it, guys. So, let's do a quick showcase. Um, this is my. Hold on. It used to be shooting arrows, but now it's gone. This is my obsidian generator. It's completely proper. So you can check out my video and I'll show you a more simple way. I just gave myself stacks. I basically. Fitting up buckets. That's all you have to do. Um. Sorry guys. I hate when I misclick like that. Oh my god. There we go. So that's that. Um, this is my cobblestone generator. You see here. My pick. It's good for skyblock. You don't really need that in a regular survival world. My study on my green farm. Say this was slash carrot slash potato. Say this is all grown carrots, potatoes, and wheat. Flick that lever. Water comes pouring out. The sticky pistons, you can check out my tutorial for that too. This is my end of video thing. My auto fur automatic furnace. Oh, that all cooked up. That was pretty fast. That was only like 10 minutes. So, put your coal or iron in there. Put anything you want. Just have this is the stuff you want to like burn. And this is a. Basically, if you want to have like tons of like lava buckets, since lava buckets can cook a hundred blocks before they run out, just put them in this, and then every time that actually never mind, it wouldn't work with lava buckets since the bucket stays. So yeah. Um. Yup. Yeah. Um. So all the iron went in there, but say I had multiple stacks, and then I go in that chest. Okay. So I'm. That's my weird device thing. You don't need to see that. Um, the snowstone generator here has silk touch pickaxe. It's a good way to get snowstone. Check out my tutorial for that. That's how it works. Um, this is my automatic tree farm. I'm going really fast since I want this video to be shorter than sleep. Me. Sorry, guys, it's bad. As you can see, it's not wasting your bone meal. Unless there's like something that's gonna grow there. And once it's grown, it won't waste your meal, as you can see. Just click that. Click the pestle. And place another one. So I've gone in, that's my farthest of logs. Sometimes they grow at different heights, so yeah. Um, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Let's do it on the video follow-ups. Oh, please check out my other tutorials if you have any questions. They're really good, I think. Simple ways to get easy materials. Oh, not really, but like the obsidian generator is just a simple way. Like, you don't have to risk it falling off. Like, you don't have obsidian, that's how you get it. So, well, hope you enjoyed this. If you did watch it, thanks. Goodbye.